everybody, it's Holly from Visit Brainerd and today we are once again out at the Northland Arboretum. It is a brisk day once again, here we are. Um, but anyway, we're here talking with members of the Brainerd Nordic Ski Club and uh, we've got Mark and Heather here. These guys have been members with the club for how long? Years. Multiple years. Yeah, a long time. Forever and ever? Yeah, since probably not. <laughs> 2000, shortly thereafter, myself. Yeah. Okay. 16 years, something for You guys have skied all of your lives? Yes. Since, well, since college for me. Okay. Put on my first pair of skis, 71, the winter 71, 72. It's a while ago. Yeah. That's when I was born, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I don't look that old. <laughs> well, we wanted to talk, talk to you guys a little bit about what the club does, what's involved in the club, how are you involved in the community. There's a lot of stuff to cover. We need to keep it kind of brief, but there is, we just want to make sure that all the viewers can understand the role that you guys play here. Um, if, if I didn't know anything about the club itself, what would you tell me? Well, first what do thing I need to know? First thing I'd let you know is that to ski on any of these trails that we have, the uh, trails out here at the Arc, Forest View, French Rapids, and we're also now growing the uh, two county trails, Larson and Red Lake. You have to have a Minnesota Ski Pass because it's a grant name trail system. That's all you need. But the ski club, and throughout the state, ski clubs, are volunteer organizations that provide the grooming. We organize all the grooming. It wouldn't happen if it wasn't for the ski clubs. So anybody can That's ski on those trails. With you guys pass. are doing the great right, with the pass. You guys are doing the grooming. So in my opinion, you guys are very important. <laughs> yes. Well, we we think so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but outside of just doing that, and Heather can speak to that as well. Uh, but we have the youth ski program. Yep. Yep. 80, what, 82? 82 kids this year. Yep. yep. Youth ski program. This is the ninth year. Um, of our youth ski program on Sundays from 2 to 3.30. So if you show up here on Sundays, it's crowded with little kids learning how to ski, but they, it's great. It's great. It feeds our high school program. Yeah. All these bags behind us um, is a high school, junior varsity. Um, our junior high program skis at Forest U, which is another grant aid trail system, but yeah, so. So these guys are out here practicing right yes. now. Yes, yep. And you're the coach? I'm a volunteer coach, yes. They have another coach out there? They, they they've got, yes, they've got four other coaches <laughs> yeah. out there. How many kids are in the program? There is 63 kids in the high school program this year. No wonder they need four coaches. Yes, yeah. They have like six coaches, yeah. So. What a cool thing. I never had an opportunity like that, and I'm, I'm a novice skier. I just started skiing not terribly long ago, um, maybe 10 years ago, something like that, and I love it, but I don't have any training. I don't know, you know, what I'm doing wrong, but I have run into folks such as yourselves on the trail, and I've met some people along the way that have given me tips and tricks, and um, it's always lovely to see somebody on the trail to help. <laughs> the ski club also has lessons. We do yeah. okay. occasional lessons when we get uh, enough people to have a, like a Sunday lesson, and sometimes we pair it with our youth ski program from two to three thirty on Sundays, so parents can learn to ski as well. Yeah, have a cool family thing to yeah. be doing. Yeah, yep. Um, I will also say that you had mentioned already those. Um, the, the map or the, the other parks and the trails that you guys grow on your website on the Brainerd Nordic Ski Club website you guys have a listing of all of the maps yes mm -hmm. of the trails which yes. has come in so handy for me personally and I just wanted everybody else to know that that is a resource that is almost invaluable yes um, it's just really cool you guys have all the distances and um, yep and I gotta tell you some of those trail all of those trails are beautiful. Yeah. yeah they are I love they Wolf, are. Wolf Lake. They Wolf, are Wolf Lake. Lake Larson yes. Lake. Yes. Just, that one's my favorite, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. Although, I will say I love to ski here because they have lit trails yes. at the night. Yes. The lighted trails yes. here are, that yeah, too. So are a bonus. real job. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and you have to work yes. till five. Yeah. This is your option. Yes. Yeah, there's so. four kilometers of lit trails out here. Though, yeah. There again, that's maintained and uh, paid for by the ski club. Okay. Yep. Very, very cool. You're taking care of those. You guys have an event coming up. The Lumberjack Jaunt, the 49th I love the annual yeah. love the name. Lumberjack Jaunt. So tell us a little bit about that and who who should participate. Well, it's a citizen's race, which okay. means basically you're racing against yourself. It isn't a high That is test. my kind of race. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yes. I mean, we got guys out there that, you know, they'll chase each other, which is fun and, and that's, yep. that's part of it. But if you just want to make a tour on it, you can do it. Yes. There's several different but there's 6K, 6K and, and 16 2K kilometers. Yep. And both a skate and classic. classic. All at the same time. Yep. All here at the ARB. Yep. yep. What's the date on it? Sunday, January 30th. What's the time on it? Is it 9? 
9? I think it's 9 a.m. If you go to, again to the Brandon Nordic Sea Club website, yeah. Yeah. you can find all the information. And register through there as well. Right? Yes, register through yeah. there, through uh, through It's Your Race Karma does our timing. Yep. Okay, how many people, you said 49? It's the 49th annual. Yeah, I think we have what, 60, so it's I mean, about last 65. year was a virtual. Last year's virtual, two years ago we had about 65 participants. Yep. From all over, actually, North Dakota and the cities, and yeah, very, very cool. We love to see uh, Wisconsin coming in here yeah. and taking advantage of our trails too. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Very cool. And includes a meal. Um, yep. And this year it will be a box meal because there again we've still got some cold yep. things going on. And the kids, we have a yes. kids race because yep. that's Free the kids one race. Sunday we don't do lessons because we want to encourage the kids to do a little race. It's yes. A little short race. Yes. What's the kid's age limit? Can I can I get in on that one? <laughs> yeah. Probably not, right? Yeah. You have to get on your knees. Yeah. <laughs> no poles. Um, we won't yeah. let you use yeah. poles. Great. Yeah. 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 Good trouble. Push, pushing sticks. Yes. <laughs> one more thing that I wanted to mention, and then maybe this will trigger, trigger some more conversation. You guys just recently had like a community ski out here or what were you what did you call it wednesday nights we have a social ski social from ski. five to seven and it's an opportunity it's a just a real loose you come out and ski but we'll have uh, hot cocoa and some treats in the uh um, our building yeah our mm -hmm. building. what now they call it the, the chalet. 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 Yeah. chalet 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 yeah so yes. that's new but we do that every wednesday night it's hosted by yeah. one of the members of the ski club and I would also say uh, one of the real benefits of joining the Ski Club, other than being a part of a great organization, yep. is that you will also get emailed daily grooming reports from what all yep. our trail system, what's happening on those. Yeah, so after That's the groomer's so done, he reports back to the, the head grooming committee and then she sends out an email to the whole club base and says, yep. Larson was groomed today. Yep. Wolf was the same. And then everybody runs out to Larson. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yep. And we can't do anything about leaves as no. much as we'd love to do something about those leaves. We need like a daily dose of just a fresh coat of snow, yeah. uh, snow every other day. Yeah. So. Yeah. so I think that this club, what you're saying is that if you are somewhat of a novice skier or if you're just really into it, it's a pretty great yeah. club to join. Yeah. My um, husband's been racing since he was really little and he, we've been part of the club and he's out helping coach and he does you ski and yeah, he does a lumberjack jaunt, but he just, it's just, yeah, you can meet up with whoever fits your bill, basically. That's yep. how we got to know her. That's how I got to know Laura, <laughs> who's on the other side of the camera. Right, yeah, right. Um, it's just, you know, it's yeah. a community. It is yep. a community. What does a membership cost for the uh, club? It's $20 for an individual, $40 for a family, and $70 for a business. Yep. Very, very affordable. And yes. you, uh, the Minnesota Ski Pass is 25 for uh, an annual, yep. 70 for th three years, three year, yep. and ten dollars for a daily. So you put those together. I tell you what, you ski twice, yeah. you you pay yeah. for it. Yeah. Well, really, just, before the grooming, what we have to do yeah. out here. For Even grooming. if you don't get out as much as you want to, because doesn't that yeah. kind of happen a lot? As long as you've got that pass, you are supporting. Oh yes, all yes, the things. yes. Yep. So, and even in bad snow years, yes, that it's right. important to yep. buy them every yep. year. I, yes. There has been a year that I have not gone out skiing once, but I still went and bought the pass because yes. I know, Thank you. I know <laughs> what Thank you. it goes. Yes. So, and I appreciate what you guys yes. are doing. Because all that money from the ski pass, that's the other goes into a common every pot. single dime every goes into a dime pot. there's yep. no general revenue monies that come nope. back to us to do any of this that's all user fees and then all the individuals uh, ski clubs and trail associations around the state that do this the volunteer groups they have to apply for a grant every year to get the money that we can use only for grooming and we do uh, fall prep with that too, right. low trails. Yeah, you guys do a lot of the cleanup and, and our, the maintenance. Yeah, our membership fees go for, so some years we have long winters, right? And we can't get reimbursed for grooming past like April 1st. And so if we groom into April, oh. that comes out of general club fees. And when we buy a new snowmobile, we buy a new groomer, we buy a new track setter, that all comes from membership dollars. So that's why being a member is also important yes. because grant and aid funds don't cover everything. And, yep. and we also support the, the, the ski high club. school. There was what? 
four kids now? Four kids on a scholarship. Yep. yep. To buy new equipment for these kids. And sometimes there's multiple siblings in, in the mm -hmm. on the ski team. And so, yeah, they can apply. And we, we try to fund four kids every year for new equipment. I think that you guys um, should be very, very proud of yourselves <laughs> for all of the things that you are doing. I mean, it's it's impactful um, yeah. and important, uh, especially in the tourism world, Yes, uh, which is where Visit Brainerd's side of it comes in. But on a personal level, just for, for myself, who's a novice skier, I mean, just thank you yeah. so, so much for yeah. all the things that you're doing. I love the idea of um, starting these young kids on skis because they end up being really good at it yeah. and I, it's just what a great thing for them to be accomplished in. Yeah. It's Jesse a lifelong Diggins started yeah. in Jesse Minnesota. Diggins started in Minnesota Youth Ski League. <laughs> yes. Right. Yep. <laughs> you guys are just amazing. <laughs> and yesterday when I showed up to ski there was Wisconsin plates in and North Dakota plates in this parking lot. Love that. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Yep. Kudos to you guys because maybe they heard about how great the trails are. Maybe. You brought them right in. <laughs> <laughs> we got snow up here. I know. Well, that's we true do. Too. That's we true. do. Yes. Well, there you go, you guys. That is one more way of how you can love Brainerd like a local. Make sure that you check in with the Brainerd Nordic Ski Club and either get signed in as a member or get on the ski team or do whatever you got to do to be a member of the ARB and get out here. Um, we'll see you next winter. Uh, GoPro, Scott.